Hello and welcome to the 4 p.m. news on Canal de English. I am Regina Fondioleke, your host. The headlines. Third term has effectively begun in schools in spite of the current anglophone crisis in Cameroon. And in culture, Marie Akengelo, the artist who sang songs in praise of the CPDM, is seriously sick and she asks for help. This and more will be yours in a jiffy. We talk education. Pupils and students in Yaoundé are back in school for the third and last term of the 2016-2017 academic year. Beatrice Ngamo visited some schools in Yaoundé and brought back this report. Pupils and students can be seen on the streets making their way to their various schools. School administrators at some major junctions forces the children, especially those who were late, to hurry up. On this Monday, April 17, first day of the third term, some of the students were still in their Easter holiday fashion. Hair do not acceptable in school, and so were not admitted into the school compound. Morning assembly and the firm instructions by school administration, like the principal of government high school, Bafia, evokes the sticks of this last term for the 2016-2017 academic year. The most decisive term, especially as it is marked by the end of year promotion examinations and official public examinations. The principal at the morning assembly called on the students to redouble efforts at work, especially as it is the shortest school term with just a few weeks to go. Some students he went for that did extremely well in the first two terms. Others were able to catch up in the second term to make good results after failure in the first. It is imperative that all, even those who were unable to make it in the first two terms, to be totally engaged, this in a bit to avoid eviction from the schools. Still on school resumption, we take you to the noon where thousands of pupils and students have resumed classes for the third term, known to be the shortest term. In this area, classes were effective on day one. Ndi Morin has more. It is 7.30 a.m. at Government High School, Cooper in the noon division. Students have assembled at the devotion ground, excited to begin another term known as the shortest on the school calendar. At the devotion ground, guidelines and techniques on how to succeed the term is being dished out to students. They are told to be hardworking and disciplined. It is a similar scenario at Government High School, Bangura. In the Form 4 classroom, literature lessons are going on. The officials have placed priority on examination classes, ensuring every student is closely followed up. It is the same ambience in primary and nursery schools. Yet majority of pupils have answered presence on the first week of classes for the third term. And now on to this disturbing phenomenon. A recent report from the NGO Association La Colombe indicates that 475 children are raped every year in Cameroon and most of the victims are 14 and below. Ndi Morin took interest in this story and brought back this report. Rape is a growing social offense in societies. According to l'Association Le Colomb, in Cameroon, 475 children are reported to be raped yearly, affecting mostly children from 14 and below. Other reports show that at least 109 girls got pregnant after being raped. It is a case of 14-year-old Mariama raped by her own father. She is currently pregnant and carrying her own sister. She recounts her story in tears. I was raped at the age of 10. I was in primary school then. My father threatened me. He said if I talk, he would beat me. Darrell, 13, is no more. She died from pain and shock after her body could not withstand the brutal sexual harassment. She was defied and her organs destroyed by the rapist. The rail is among thousands of children in Cameroon, thousands of children suffering from rape in Cameroon. While some prefer to die in silence, others have become skeptical of their immediate environment 
families no longer trust each other. It has become most critical that people are scared to see their children in their neighbors' houses. The green phenomenon is described as a poison for children who in fear of the unknown prefer not to denounce the rapist. Carol Kanwe is a psychiatric. She says in most cases a victim dies in silence. She is ashamed of herself and knows if she speaks out, even her own family members will not believe her. La Colombe is an association that is out to sensitize people on the growing social ill. This growing social ill has pushed l'association La Colombe to sensitize people they intend to denounce and make cases of rape known. Still on school resumption, but we take you now to Douala, where thousands of students and people have resumed school in Douala, and the teachers have begun preparing the students on how to meet up with the challenges of this term, which is known to be the shortest and most decisive. Christelle Catala has the story. Peoples and students of nursery, primary and secondary schools in Douala Littoral Region have resumed classes to round up with the third term, be it at the Balingua Nursery Primary School, Bercy, or at the Government Balingua High School, Bobongo Petipari, in Dopasi Village, classes are effective, though few cases of absences were registered. It's true that there are some few absences. But actually many students are there, as you can see it yourself. And uh, it's really above my expectations. We are on the rail and we are moving. We are on the line, we are moving, and we are hoping that we, we are going to complete the year well with the children because they are there, they are ready. The third term, which comes in the hills of Easter holiday, is usually the shortest and most decisive as it is marked by official end of course, as well as promotion exams. Made our program on how to um, allocate the exams on the various, because normally truly this third term is very short. We have just one month and two weeks. And um, in this one month and two weeks, next week we have um, a fit sequence and we need to work for four weeks effectively to make sure that we cover our program for the, for the seat sequence. So that's how we have um, program. So by the first and second of June, we are going to do our seat sequence then. Final, um, <laughs> to give the report cards, it will be on the 9th. The term also marks the end of the 2016-2017 academic year and will be followed by a period of holidays. Before going for holidays, the students will have to double effort in order to succeed for the next class. Now health. There has been no strike registered by doctors in public hospitals, contrary to an announcement made by the National Medical Association of Doctors calling for a strike action from April 17, 2017. Doctors and health personnel have answered present at different stations in Yaoundé. Beatrice Ngamo tells us more. The entrance of the Yaoundé Central Hospital, no sign of any sitting. Dissatisfaction, strike, white gowns and black hats, as announced this April 17, 2017. Professor Joseph Pierre Fouda, director of the hospital, says this day, as the other, services and activities as usual. Naturally, Yaoundé Central Hospital is okay. I'm offering classes to medicine students. If it was hot outside, I would not have been doing so. Patients are there, doctors too, taking care of the patients. At our level, there is no problem. The director himself in class with third and fourth year doctor students. Between doctors and patients, discussion smooth, consultation ongoing. Consultation rooms like the other services are on. This April 17 is the day the National Medical Association of Doctors of Cameroon, CIMEC, announced there will be a nationwide strike of medics in hospitals across the country. This to decry their poor working conditions. From the hospital register, doctors answered present according to their schedule at hospital. 
as they also offer lessons at the university. But here, like in other hospitals in Yaoundé visited this Monday, the strike is not effective. And onto this novelty in the world of awards, the first edition of La Nuit du Sport, an award ceremony has been launched today in Douala. The award, which seeks to recognize people doing extraordinary things in sport, will take place on June the 6th, 2017 at Hilton Hotel. The awards will recognize best sports journalists, best sport TV programs, best athletes, and best players, amongst others. In this first edition, there are 18 categories, and each category has about five nominees. This edition will have as guest star Samuel Etofiz. Let's take a listen to Mart Martin Comus Mim, the promoter of this event. Um, a, a big ceremony, and we want to to, to thank those who are working around the sport, journalists, athletes, uh, media, and uh, sponsors. So we want them to, to come and to tell them, thank you, continue what you are doing, and we think that it will be the best. And we will, um, all the family, of, uh, the family sports will be in, on, in Yaoundé at 6 June to, to try to do something. Uh, who is the best thing for us? I, I think that the, 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 the most important for us is, is to, to speak about sport, about the value of sport, not about uh, uh, what I think uh, concerning someone and, or another one. We want to, to celebrate the value of sport. And now the first national radiation agency in Douala littoral region has launched its activities. The launching ceremony was coupled with the official installation of the chief of services and presided over by administrative authorities. Christelle Katala with that story. Radiation protection is a protection of people, their wealth and environment from harmful effects of exposure of ionizing radiation. This ionizing radiation is widely used in industry, medicine and higher institutes of research. The littoral region alone counts close to 70% of radioactive source and users of ionizing radiation reason for the official launching of the first National Radiation Protection Agency in Douala. I want to thank the Minister of Scientific Research and Innovation. I want to thank the, uh, the Board of Administration of the NRP. I want to thank the uh, Director General to nominate us as the head of the service of regulation and technical activities. So our main mission, first of all, is to protect workers and patients against ionizing radiation. The official launching is coupled with the official installation of the chief of the NROPA, Douala Antenna, and other chief of services. During the installation, presided over by the representative of the governor, Dr. Beyala Jean Felix and co. have been instructed by the general manager to ensure the protection of persons from the harmful effects of ionizing radiation, amongst others. The work is too much in the littoral because most of ionizing radiation sources are located in littoral and namely in, namely in Douala. So we have a very huge work. We have started working and we think that we, with the confidence of our hierarchy and with the collaboration of all the users of ionizing radiation, we will, we will, have, we will uh, meet our goals that it is uh, protect people and workers, patients against ionizing radiation. According to statistics published by the NRPA, Cameroon counts more than 550 X-ray generators, which majority is used in medicine and close to 250 radioactive source used in industrial sector. Activities of the NRPA in the littoral region 
will facilitate the work of researchers, medical practitioners and industrials. Okay. And on to this disturbing story, Cameroonian artist Marie Akangelo is very sick. The artist who sang a historic song for the CPDM party during its creation in 1985 in Bamenda is suffering from cancer and dying. She is pleading for help. Our reporter Tabby Clarkson has more. Hey, Car il m'attend à Kaélé, quand je serai à Kaélé, il m'embrassera Kaélé, à Kaélé. Her name is Marie Akangelo. The 66 years old artist is very sick. According to medical reports, she is affected with cancer. For close to a year now, she has been battling with the disease. She even had to go to South Africa for a medical checkup. After three months spent in a hospital in Johannesburg, the artist is back home asking for help. Uh, je dis d'abord merci à Canal 2 de s'être déplacé jusqu'ici chez moi. Merci beaucoup. Quant aux autorités et aux Camerounais, je leur demande, je leur suis je les supplie de me venir en aide parce que je suis malade. S'ils peuvent venir me venir en aide, que ce soit financièrement, matériellement. She has also solicited help from the Ministry of Culture, the Ministries of Public Health and Social Affairs. None of these ministries has reacted. Paul Bia, nous te disons, nos camarades du RDPC, en avant pour ta tâche de continuateur, par la volonté de Dieu et la confiance de la nation. Jamais, jamais tu ne failliras. Va de l'avant, Paul Bia. Marie Akangelo is alive. It's time for Yaoundé authorities to save the life of a lady who has done much good. To the CPT party. Va de l'avant, Paul Bia. Va de l'avant, Paul Bia. Le peuple camerounais te dit, Paul Bia. Va de l'avant, Paul Bia. Va de l'avant, Paul Bia. Nous soutenons ton action de paix et d'unité. That was all we had for you today on 4 p.m. news on Canal de English. But don't go anywhere. Stick around for more interesting programs on Canal de English. Annette Efeti Esome will be yours at 8 p.m. Bye-bye.